Have you ever heard about the recent controversy surrounding a resort constructed near the renowned Chocolate Hills? Let's delve into the series of events causing a tremor among environmentalists, local communities and internet users across the nation. The storm kicked off when Captain's Peak Garden and Resort, a property under the ownership of Edgar Button and the management of Julieta Sablas, materialized within the protected area of the Chocolate Hills in Bohol province. As reported by the Enquirer, the resort's sudden appearance was not simply a surprise, but an alarming violation of environmental protection laws. It's worth noting that the Chocolate Hills, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, were designated as a protected area under the National Integrated Protected Areas System Act due to their distinct geological formation and rich biodiversity. The resort's construction and operation quickly sparked public outcry, particularly as it was functioning without an environmental compliance certificate, a mandatory requirement enforced by the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, DENR. Regardless of this glaring violation, the resort carried on operations, blatantly disregarding a temporary closure order issued by the DENR. In September 2023, a significant development took place. The DNR, in its firm commitment to protect the environment, issued another closure order against Captain's Peak. According to the Enquirer, this was not just another temporary order. The order specifically emphasised that the continued operations were causing significant damage to the environment and the protected habitat within the vicinity of the Chocolate Hills. The audacity of such actions from the resort management triggered further discontent and heightened scrutiny. The subsequent closure order profoundly impacted the resort's operations. Tourists were deterred and the resort transformed into a deserted place overnight. What was once a bustling resort was now eerily silent, serving as a stark reminder of the severe repercussions of flouting environmental regulations. As the resort brazenly carried on its operations, the controversy reached Senator Nancy Binet, who joined the chorus of concerns regarding this development within the protected area. The issue continued to gain traction online as netizens voiced their outrage over the resort's disregard for environmental regulations and the sanctity of protected lands. Now, we find ourselves in the thick of the controversy, with the resort still in operation and in the process of acquiring an environmental compliance certificate. The question remains, Will the Captain's Peak Garden and Resort succeed in its quest to secure an ECCC, or will the rising tide of public outrage and environmental concerns bring its operations to a halt? In summary, the Captain's Peak Garden and Resort, built within the protected zone of the Chocolate Hills, has ignited a controversy due to its operation without an environmental compliance certificate and its violation of environmental regulations. Despite receiving a temporary closure order, the resort continues to operate, causing outrage among netizens and environmentalists. With the controversy still ongoing, the future of the resort hangs in the balance, and the preservation of our precious natural landmarks remains a topic of heated debate. As the controversy surrounding the Captain's Peak Garden and Resort continues to escalate, a new development unfolds. A Bohol Solon has made a bold move calling for the demolition of the resort. This unexpected statement has sent shockwaves through the community, adding yet another layer of complexity to this unfolding saga. The Solon argues that the resort's operation not only blatantly disregards environmental regulations, but also undermines the integrity of our country's precious natural landmarks. This call for demolition is not just a demand for justice, but also a plea for the preservation of our heritage. The Solon's bold stance has reignited the public's hope for a resolution to this contentious issue. However, it remains to be seen how the resort management will react to this call for demolition. Will they bow to the pressure and cease their operations, or will they continue to defy the law and persist in their operations? As we wait for the next chapter in this saga to unfold, we are reminded of the importance of preserving our natural heritage and holding those accountable who threaten it. Stay tuned as we continue to follow this developing story. As the controversy surrounding Captain's Peak Garden and Resort thickens, yet another revelation comes to light. 
The Department of Tourism, DOT, has confirmed that the resort is not accredited by them. This means that the resort does not meet the standards set by the DOT for tourist establishments, further muddying the waters of this contentious issue. The implications of this non-accreditation are far-reaching. Not only does it damage the resort's reputation, but it also raises questions about the legality of its operations. Without the DOT's accreditation, the resort may face sanctions and penalties, adding to the already mounting pressure from the public and environmentalists. In response to the DOT statement, the resort management has remained surprisingly silent, refusing to comment on the issue. This silence only serves to fuel the speculation and uncertainty surrounding the resort's operations and its future. This new development adds yet another layer to the ongoing controversy. It further complicates the resort's standing and makes the fight for the conservation of the Chocolate Hills even more urgent. As the plot thickens, we continue to monitor the situation closely. Stay tuned for more updates on this unfolding saga. The controversy surrounding the resort's construction and operation raises questions about the government officials who approved it. It begs the question, who were the government officials involved in the approval of the resort's construction and operation? And what were their motivations? As the public outcry continues, a Senate probe has been called to seek more information about the approval process. This probe aims to hold accountable those who gave the green light to the unlawful construction and operation of the resort, despite clear environmental regulations and the absence of an environmental compliance certificate. In a recent development, the Senate Committee on Environment and Natural Resources has ordered a probe into the alleged destruction of the Chocolate Hills due to the resort's operation. This investigation will undoubtedly shed more light on the government's role in this controversy. As the Senate probe unfolds, we hope to gain more insight into the government's role in this controversy. Will there be accountability or will it be another case of impunity? As the public, we await the answers with bated breath, and as the controversy rages on, so does the fight for the conservation of our natural landmarks. Stay tuned for more updates.